How's it going tonight? It's John. Worthless, weak, washed up, a has-been. I'm so fucking not. Man, it is good to be able to talk to you guys, even in this worthless state I'm in because I... Oh, I'm not talking about Texas, of course. This worthless condition I'm in um, because I just love having a chance to chat with all you good people. And I need to talk to the princess tonight. John Tyler, Princess Podcast, Volume 6. What a great night to be able to chat with everybody. I got Chloe here. She's just sitting over there licking her paws. Duffy, he's doing something back here. It sounds like a... Listen, it sounds like he's convulsing. Listen, listen, listen. This dog's crazy. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak up on him here, and I'm going to let you listen to this. This is what this dog... Oh, shoot. Hold on. i got to unplug this. This is what this dog does. Listen. Oh, listen. Sorry, I didn't get to hear the whole thing, but so anyway, it's good to be able to talk to you tonight. I need to talk to my princess. Um, and before I do this, um, God forbid that I be labeled a narcissist or somebody who's presumptuous. I mean, I don't want to assume that I've got a princess out there when we all know I'm not dating right now. I mean, that'd be a little presumptuous of me, huh? You know what, I don't think it's presumptuous of me to think that there's at least one young lady out there somewhere in internet land that wouldn't, wouldn't mind me taking them to dinner sometime. Is that thinking too highly of myself? I mean, listen, I've already told you I'm old, washed up, worthless, weak. I'm so fucking not. So I, I'm not thinking too highly of myself, but I just want to I'm just assuming maybe there's somebody out there that wants to go to dinner with me. Baby, you're so beautiful. I adore you. I don't like this part where it takes a long time. Listen, here's what we're going to do, baby. We can, maybe soon, maybe not so soon. You know how this works. <laughs> um, maybe we could go to dinner. You know we ought to take a trip together. Like maybe, do maybe a trip and then, oh, here's an idea. Early on, we'll go on for like a road trip. That's right. We'll go for a road trip. You pick where you want to go and we'll take a little trip. We'll go, we'll stop at Stuckey's. We'll, we'll eat at like little diner places on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. We'll stop. We'll go to big cities. Uh, we, and um, we'll go to small cities. We'll go wherever you want. But I was thinking that would be a good way for us to get to know each other. And maybe we can, you know, I know we don't owe anybody out in internet land anything. They certainly, uh, you know, uh, especially not the, the, the people that are commenting on blogs and all that shit. We ought to fucking murder them all, actually. If I wish I had a fucking nuclear weapon to blow them all the fucking away. But that's, but baby, I'm talking to you. And we don't talk like that. When I'm talking to my baby, we don't talk about stuff like that. So, um, so maybe we could take a trip, you know. Remember that old song? I'm gonna take a trip on that good old gospel ship. Never mind, baby. I gotta talk to sweetheart. You just hang in there, cause that that song reminded me that I needed to talk to to everybody else other than you. So you just hang in there, baby, while I talk to everybody else. Why is John? Why doesn't John have scripture of the night anymore on his on his podcast? And I heard him say shit and fuck. What happened to John? I thought he was this good church going boy and I and I heard he was up in one of those I heard he was drinking alcoholic beverages in public and somebody told me he was in a Montrose bar. He's probably a homo. Listen, um, here's where I am at spiritually. You guys ready to hear about this? Maybe I got some preachers that are listening, pastors, church folk. Uh, I certainly don't want to discourage anybody from from what you believe and what you practice. I think I'm going to believe in Jesus forever. Um, but but here's the issue with with where I was spiritually, say a year ago or a year and a half ago. I need some of that talk to actually materialize into something real. In other words, there's a lot of talk, you know. A lot of stuff that we would believe in that was going to happen. Remember all that? 
I need, there is a chasm, okay? A huge chasm between what we were saying was going to happen and what has happened. I don't feel like no weapon formed against you can prosper. I don't feel that way. I actually feel like weapons formed against me have prospered. Can I get a better amen? You say, I'm going to give you a two, Lord says, I'm going to give you a twofold recompense for your former trouble, and we make a fucking joke out of it. Oh, you're going to get double for your trouble. I'm getting double fucking troubles, what I'm getting. A bunch of bullshit piled up on me. Look, look, I don't want to offend anybody. Not that I probably hadn't already done that. But the problem is, is that what I need to see in my life is a connection between the words that people have spoken, both over my life and in my life. And I need to see where that actually becomes reality. You know, I put, I banked everything on it. <laughs> I banked absolutely everything on believing all that. And I have to be honest with you. And I, and Jesus is, yeah, I, I have no problems with Jesus. But there are days where I feel like I've been left in a lurch. You know what I mean? There are days where I feel like I put it all out there. I laid it all out there and I believed in such a public way and none of it came to pass. And it's that chasm between what we say and what happens. I need there to be, I need some of that to come to pass. So to make a long story short, I have uh, loosened up my, I would, damn, I wish I had a beer tonight, frankly. I would, how can you do a pro proper podcast without a nice cold beer? That dang dog sounds like he's having convulsions back here, man. But uh, I, I just, um, I wish I had some beers to relax. And uh, love you, Jesus. And I'm believing on you. I'm believing that, that despite the silliness of your people, that some of that stuff's actually going to come true. And uh, we'll just... Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll just keep believing that. But that's where I'm kind of at spiritually. Uh, kind of relaxing a little bit, having some cold cocktails and going to nightclubs in the Montrose. And and uh, although I haven't been in the Montrose in about a month, you know, I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm turning into a suburb boy here, you know, kind of like a, a return to my jail cell here and just going to sit here and rot until something fucking happens. Uh, baby doll, I'm sorry because I got off on that and I've neglected you. And neglecting you is the worst possible thing I can do because you are so sweet. There's Fritzy boy. Oh, did I tell y'all? Fritzy can talk now. Come here, Fritzy. Come here, say, I love you. Yes, say, I love you. I love you. I love you. Listen. I love you. I love you. I love you. Would you shut the hell up? I'm trying to get Fritzy to talk. I love you! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> oh, well. You know, that's what I have fucking time to do around here is talk, teach dogs to fucking talk. <laughs> I, I, I'm just a shade of myself, you know? I'm just a... You've read the blogs. I'm, I'm just... What I... Uh, just a... Poor reflection of what I used to be. All I do is sit around and fucking teach dogs and talk. Come here, Fritz. Get up here. We're going to say, I love you. I love you. Aww. I love you. You tell those people you love them. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Chloe, would you shut the hell up? It's Fritzy's turn to talk. You are... That damn dog is such a narcissist. This damn dog, every time I pick Fritzy up, and Fritzy's going, hey, I love you. That, that dog back there just runs his, her fucking mouth. Blah, 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 blah. Damn. There's nothing worse than a fucking dog that won't shut the hell up. 
I guess that applies to me, huh? So, baby, no, baby, well, we need to get together, right? Because if we're apart like this, this doesn't really do either one of us any good. I'm sure you've probably noticed that. Um, so we need to get together, right? And in time, we'll be able to, as soon as we get the people, you know. Have you ever woke up one morning and realized, you know what? The situation I'm in, I really need help. And uh, I just haven't found the right person to help me. Lots of cheerleaders out there. I'm not talking about girls that wear pom-poms. I'm talking about people that, well, they probably are those too. <laughs> um, I'm talking about people that'll cheer you on and say, uh, John, John, yeah, 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 fight, 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 fight. Stand up against the bad guys, the maggots and the fucking morons and the assholes. You stand up and fight. But... When you need the, the real support, which is more than just words, right? When you need actually something to happen that's concrete, that's material, you know, like for something to happen, they disappear like a fucking fart in the wind. Their support disappears like a fucking fart in the wind. You can't, it's like, um, well, you know, John, yeah, you, you fight, 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 fight. This is one thing, the question I want answered. The one question I want answered. What the fuck did I do to deserve this? Chloe, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, now she wants to be, now she just wants to sit there and look at me. You know, I'm t when I got Fritzy here, you know, he'll, she, she's, she wants, to, all she wants all this fucking attention. So anyway, uh, well, I guess uh, I guess y'all wanted to hear from me, and now you're probably resenting the fact that you wasted 12 minutes and 30 seconds of your life with me today. I guess this would have been a podium I should have left. I, you know, how much bullshit should I take from the media? Oh, we got to kiss their ass, right? We got to we got to kiss the media's ass because uh, because they're important, right? That's how, because, no, 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 seriously, the media is important. Look, I, I apologize, you know, if I've said anything against the media, um, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys are really important. You guys, um, I mean, you know, y'all are, y'all are all honest and trustworthy and y'all protect us, right? Y'all protect us from the government, y'all protect us from big businesses because when the, the politicians, they do bad things, you write stories and you reveal it, right? And, and then when big business fucks up and, you know, loses all our money or, or does something crazy or... I'm almost afraid to ask this. If I, if I could go back in time... Um, who, who watches the journalists to make sure they're... So, like, okay, so let me see if I understand this. The journalists are watching the government and the journalists are watching big business... And they're sort of like watchdogs. They make sure everything operates right. But who's watching the journalists? So if the journalist's job is to watch the... The journalist's job is to watch all of us to make sure that everything's operating like it should. Who's watching the journalists? Y'all are, Y'all are above all that shit. That must be what it is. The journalists are uh, above the government. Uh, and when I say above, what I mean by above is um, there's no... I don't understand that. Maybe I, I, if I could go back to journalism one-on-one, -on -one, I would ask that. I'd say, well, if we're so good, we're being the journalist, because I was studying to be a journalist, if we're... we're human beings just like the politicians are human beings and we're human beings just like big business is human beings and we're watching them who's watching us well anyway that that's really stupid because we know that journalists don't they're good people they're good good solid people and, and if I've said anything that's um, offensive then or, or, or sounded like I was anti-media, I'm sorry, because we need you guys. And we, we love y'all. Really, really. We, 
You guys are the greatest. The media, the greatest people ever. You're the best. They write stories. If we, they write stories. That's what they do. All right, so I wasted four minutes on that. Actually, that was pretty important um, because I, I really needed to get that apology out there because I, I want I want to be friends with y'all. Whatever it takes, you know, whatever I have to do to, to, to make things right with y'all, I want to do that because y'all are watching to make sure everything operates right and everything happens right. I don't want to... Oh, Fritzy's itching. Fritzy's itching. All right, well, the Princess Podcast was a, a moderate success tonight. Uh, y'all at least got to hear my voice, and I guess that's that's consolation for some of you. I know I'm a oh, I'm just a shell of what I used to be. Oh man, I'm just a mm, lost soul, just a worthless piece of shit. Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to you soon.